one and only Spider-Man. Okay, let's do this. I see, uh, I've seen a lot of unboxing videos where people like mess around. Bunch of filler, takes forever to get to their unboxing. Not that I'm sitting around watching unboxing videos all day long, but I've seen a lot of shoe unboxings. <laughs> I, and they're, you know, they're always like doing a bunch of stuff. We're just gonna open the box, get to the shoes. Alright, that's a Jordan 1 box, if you're not familiar. Alright, let's see these things. Now you may have seen online, there was like a cooler box with uh, that looks more like the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse logo and all that stuff. That was a special box. The shoes are the same shoes, but that was like a special box that you can only get um, like opening day or something like that. But uh, this is what you got online. Alright. Looks pretty good. If you're not familiar, this is a uh, sort of a play on the Chicago colorway. Chicago colorway was, uh, you know, didn't have the dots and whatnot. But, uh, and actually it didn't have this blue either. That would have been black and red, I think. And it also wouldn't have had this uh, icy blue bottom situation. Would have had a red bottom. So there's some tweaks to make it a little more special, but yeah, this looks good. Yeah. It's got this slight, you can only like kind of catch that, the dots in the light. They're kind of like 3M shiny, shiny dots, but uh, this, the swoosh isn't normal either. It's definitely got some texture to it that a normal Jordan 1 swoosh wouldn't have. But uh, yeah, this looks good. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to try to shine a light on this so it really picks up the uh the dot pattern. People have been calling these dots like Kirby dots, but I mean, Spider-Man, not exactly like a Kirby character, so uh... They should be calling them more like Ben Day dots, like the uh, like the printing technique where it's, instead of a, like a solid patch of color, it's a bunch of dots that appear like the color, which I assume is like the inspiration of the this pattern, this dot pattern that's in the movie a lot, and uh... Man, if you haven't seen the movie, you've got to see it. It's it's just amazing. Um, I got these shoes actually before I saw the movie, but now I'm even more happy that I have them because the movie's just amazing. All the hype is real. You should go see it. All right, let's do a comparison here. So here's the shoe. Let's check it out next to this one. So this is the shadow colorway. One of the OG colorways. This is actually my probably my favorite colorway currently. It's the one I wear the most right now, actually. And the leather quality on it is really good. I've been wearing these a lot, so you can tell definitely creased a lot. But the leather, this kind of leather on these shoes, just looks better and better as you as you wear it in. So it's very like soft tumbled leather here. Pretty squishy leather here as well. All right, let's look on the new one there. See, this has like very tumbled leather on the side, whereas normally Jordan 1 has pretty smooth leather on the side panel here. But they've been doing a lot of these. A lot of the Jordan 1 models this year have had this more tumbled look there. But the toe box is pretty tumbled too, so 
it'll probably wind up looking like my shadows after a couple wears. I've also compare it to the bread ones. It's another OG colorway. This is probably one of the most popular colorways outside of the Chicago. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this is pretty, uh, pretty plush tumbled leather as well. You can definitely tell that the check mark is very different looking. Yeah, that really kind of picks up the pattern. Whereas normally it just has a check mark is just the the leather. It kind of matches the uh, toe box kind of leather. Also, I've got this, and this was actually my first pair of Jordans. So this is a this is a mid, not a OG high the way the others I've just been showing you are. So it's not not quite as high. It's still pretty high for but not a full high top. But uh the mids always have like not as good leather quality. Just kind of uh not tumbled. Or if it is tumbled it's not quite the quality as their their uh the OG ones. And the OG ones are, are more expensive than the mids. The mids are about like 50 or 60 dollars cheaper and they're usually not the OG colorways they're just kind of like made up modern colorways that aren't usually in as in demand as much but anyway that's a good comparison so here they are next to the other big Marvel shoe release of the year at least if you ask me this was the most interesting one that they did so this is the Captain Marvel Vans pair that they released. The Marvel did a lot of Vans collaborations, but this was the only one that was kind of super interesting. And I can do a full review of, of this shoe as well. If you'd like, just leave a comment and let me know if that's something you're interested in. And there they are. So that's about it. These are the Spider-Verse Jordan 1s. I'm my chip, man. I got this, yeah.